good morning this is dr yogesh agarwal associate professor sagar institute of research and technology bhopal today i will discuss about the topic reciprocating air compressor before going on the main slide today i will discuss about the outline this is the outline introduction of the reciprocating air compressor classification principles of the operation application of compressor what is the introduction about the reciprocating air compressor air compressor which is device is a mechanical device that increases the pressure of a gas by reducing its volume the fluid is here is generally air since the liquids are the theoretically incompressible because of the air is a incompressible fluid and the after the compression it is reducing of the uh, volume what is the classification of the reciprocating air compressor there are the mainly two types of the compressor compressor reciprocating compressor rotary compressor reciprocating compressor further classified single stage and the multi stage when the compression is done in the single stage or the single uh, cylinder pinder, piston it is called a single stage when the compression is done in the more than one cylinder piston that is called a multi stage reciprocating compressor a volume of the gas is drawn into the cylinder which is the trapped and the compressed by the piston and discharged into the discharge line this is the main functioning of the reciprocating compressor and the cylinder valve the control the flow of the gas uh, which is flow through the cylinder and these valve act as a check valve it can be of the single acting or the double acting when the air is coming from the compressor at the one sided that is called a single acting and the when the air is coming from the two sides or the both side that is called a double acting single stage reciprocating compressor it is some compression done in the single stage or by the single cylinder only it is used for a generation of the low pressure air double stage reciprocating air compressor in which the compression is done in the more than one single uh, cylinder piston that is called a double stage reciprocating compressor where the highly pressurized air it is required for the uh, drive the generator or the another device these are the different parts of the reciprocating compressor are the listed below suction valve suction chamber piston piston rod cylinder discharge valve and the discharge chamber suction valve uh, which is used for the uh, taking of the air from the atmospheric side into the engine cylinder suction chamber where air it is drawn into the engine cylinder piston and piston rod piston it is the uh, an integral part of the cylinder where the movement it is taking place by the top and bottom side and the piston rod which is connected to piston to uh, crank shaft by the uh, piston rod uh, this is the main function of the piston rod which is connecting of the piston to the connecting rod discharge valve where the uh, air it is uh, uh, after the compression it is delivered by the this valve when the valve is open the air will be delivered to the another side discharge chamber this is the chamber where the air it is going into the outside cylinder it is the fixed part in which the piston is moving this is the uh, main fundamental about the different parts of the reciprocating air compressor we are the suction chamber discharge chamber already given we are the air is moving into the inside of the engine cylinder this is called a suction chamber and here we are the after the compression air it is going into the go outside this is the piston it is moving in the engine cylinder this is a compression chamber where the air it is compressed by the movement of the piston this is the rod called the connecting rod where the piston is connected to the crank shaft by the connecting rod this is the crank shaft where the rotary motion of the crank shaft it is taking place shaft this is called a Uh, uh integral parts of the crank shaft cylinder it is the fixed part where the piston is moving these are the total here seven parts are the describing suction valve suction chamber piston is piston rod cylinder discharge valve and the discharge chamber so these are the basic functioning of the reciprocating compressor with the parts piston for the low speed compressor up to the 330 rpm and the medium speed compressor 330 to 
So it's seven hundred RPM. Pistons are usually made of the cast iron. Up to the seven inches of the diameter, cast iron pistons are made of the solid. Uh, those of the more than seven inch diameter are usually of the made by the hollow for the reducing of the cost. Carbon pistons are sometimes used for the compressing oxygen and the other gases that must be kept free of the lubricant. What is a piston rod? Generally, piston rod it is of course linked to the piston. by means of a special nut that is prevented from the unscrewing the surface of the rod has a suitable degree of the finish designed to the minimize wear on the sealing areas as much as possible the piston is provided with the grooves for the piston rings and the rider rings so this is the piston rod and the piston functioning it is clearly shown in the figure jo aapko yahan pe dikhai de rahi hai piston rod it is the making and connected with the screw nut on the piston surface area piston rings uh, using for the prevents of the uh, leakage rider rings it is also used for the uh, oil ring just like oil ring so this is the main diagram for the piston rod and the pistons piston rings for using for preventing of the leakage of oil or the leakage of the compression there are the two types of the rings compression rings and the oil rings so these are the using here for the preventing of the leakage of the compression and the preventing the leakage of the oil uh, throughout the piston and it is using for uh, complete compression of the air in the engine cylinder so this is the grooving which are the maintained for the uh, attaching of the rings in the engine cylinder or the piston devices so piston rings provide a seal already discussed that prevent or minimize the leakage through the piston and the linear metal piston rings are the made either in the one piece with a gap or in a several segments gaps in the rings allow them to the move out or expand as the compressor reach the operating temperature rings of the heavy piston are the sometimes given in the bronze bevit or the teflon expanders or the riders lubrication is a must for the metallic rings teflon rings with the teflon riders bands are sometimes used to support the piston when the gas do not permit use of a lubricant valve there are the two types of the valve using in the engine cylinder for the incoming of the air and the discharging of the compressing air so two types of the valve the valves are the automatically tied and the effect of differential pressure between the cylinder and the suction or the discharge chamber and the closed due to the force of the spring acting on the plates plus the differential pressure across the valve what is the principle of operation this is the principle of operation in which the diagram it is the clearly shown this is the intake valve where the air it is coming from the outside exhaust valve where the air is after the compression it is forcefully uh, sent to the delivery side so it is the diagram for the single acting and the single cylinder engine cylinder where the compression of the air it is taking place so this is the suction process when the air is coming in the this uh, process through the piston is going to the downward side due to the pressure differential and the, after the compression piston is moving to the uh, going to the top and side where the compression is completed through the uh, pressure rises after the compression and the delivery is taking from this exhaust valve so this is the basic functioning of the uh, Resulting air compression, and this is called the principle of the operation. So this is the theoretical manner where the already discussed in the diagram piston travels toward the bottom dead center. The volume of the cylinder increases, and due to the pressure difference, the suction valve is open. The pressure inside the cylinder, which is the slightly less than the suction line pressure, so that the volume of the gas start increasing as the piston moves towards the BDC. when the piston is continue its motion towards bdc till the area above the piston in the cylinder becomes the full of the fluid which is called a gas then the suction valve get the closed now again due to the pressure difference between the delivery line and the inside of the cylinder the delivery valves open in the delivery stroke so at the point 3 the piston reaches the top dead center tdc at top dead center as the piston comes to a complete stop prior to the reversing direction the pressure across the valve is equal so the discharge valve is the close
at the point two, the pressure inside the cylinder has become a slightly greater than the discharge line pressure. This causes the valve opening, allowing the gas to the flow out of the cylinder. The volume continue to decrease towards the point three, maintaining a sufficient pressure difference across the discharge valve to hold it open. Now again, as the piston is moving from uh, towards the BDC bottom dead center, the gas pressure inside the cylinder becomes the less. Then the suction line pressure, so that the suction valve is again once again open. The uh, the cycle then start over again and again. So this is the functioning where the uh, suction of the air is taking place from the suction line, and the compression is taking after the when the piston is moving from the BDC to TDC. Uh, compression of the air it is uh, completed by the piston movement and after the uh, compression the air will be delivered to the deliver side or the delivery section the shape of the re-expansion line three to four which is dependent on the same compression which is depicted in the figure this is the figure where the compression it is done by the showing the line one to two this is called a polytropic compression here it is compressed by the one to two manner and two to through three that th this is called a uh, uh, discharging of the air it is taking place and after that when the piston is having the clearance volume the gas uh, will be re-expanded from three to four by the polytropically manner and four to one that is the constant pressure air it is supplied in the engine cylinder so this is the pv diagram in this the number of the condition are the given this is the clearance volume where the clearance is maintained with wind of the cylinder head and the piston some displacement it is uh, taking place after the uh, piston when the moving from the TDC to VDC and uh, piston displacement is occur and the air is coming from the outside to the inside inside of the engine cylinder. Total cylinder volume it will make up the piston displacement volume plus of the clearance volume. So this is the total volume VT is equal to this is called the VC plus of the VS. The so VC is called the clearance volume vc is called a clearance volume so this is called a clearance volume which is occurs when the gap is maintained between of the cylinder head and the piston this is called a clearance volume so this is the functioning of the piston for the compressor in a what is the application of the compressor? Resuating compressor are the typically used where the high compressor ratio, ratio of the discharge to the suction pressure, which are required the upper stage without the high flow rate. And the process fluid, which is the relatively dry. This is the depicted in the figure. Bottling industry and the sewer industry also use the resuating air compressor. This is another example. Processing equipment, oxygen generator oil atomization use the compressor of the required capacity as for the required capacity piston cylinder design it is a different for the high pressure uh, generation there is a multi-stage compression it is done which will be discussed in the later class so this is the today lecture thank you tomorrow i will discuss on the another class for the resulting air compressor